So I thought it'd be something fun today to make a lightsaber out of random parts. So this is a box of just random 3D printing parts that I've had extras with because of, I don't know, other stuff in the print failed and I didn't use it or just random ones like this where I never got to it. So I'm gonna use all these random parts that I've got, maybe a few bit of extra ones and see if I can make a cool lightsaber out of it. So these are mostly Lord of the Rings based pieces. Like there's a bit of Legolas, we've got Aragons there. So let's pull it all out, see what we've got and then see what we can make. So here's all the parts. I have a heck of a lot of Aragon's pommels, a few of the midsection bits, a few kind of joining sections, some emitters, and then just random extra flary bits. So I kind of might just mess around with a bit of this. I really like this. I might cut this up a little bit, lay a few of these down, a couple of those, and let's see if we can make something awesome. So I know exactly what I'm going to do for the pommel. I'm going to have these pieces and we're going for a Sith kind of vibe with this one I reckon. Just based on the pieces that I have, I'm going to be using this one or we'll maybe see what it's going to end up like but let's go with this for now. So Gimli's pommel fits perfectly on Anakin's sword pommel that I've made from Jake Bartox's amazing artwork. So let's glue that one on and then I have the thought to add these around like that so let's see what that looks like so next thing while that dries and before I put these on I'm still not 100% set on these because I don't know if I want to go full Sith vibe yet but I'm going to work on the midsection the handle I think I'm definitely going to use these these are a part of Theoden's lightsaber so you can see it's the same pommel handle there and this is the connector that goes up the top of there on his um, normal lightsaber. But I'm going to use these for now, which means I've got to glue those together. But I might need to start building in my PVC core, so I'm just going to go grab one of those. Alright, so here's the core. I don't know exactly how long it needs to be at this point, but the beauty of the way I've designed these is that I can cut it down to size when I know exactly what I'm doing. So of course, I just dropped this, didn't I? and snap that off. Um, that's kind of made one decision for me because I don't want to glue that back on. I'm actually going to grind down that side and I reckon that piece will fit quite nicely over there. So let's go chop that off and we'll come back. And that fits really nice in there, snug, like the friction fits in there. So I'll glue that on in a bit, but yeah, that's one piece done. Alright, so before I finish gluing everything together, I've got these couplers, they're the same ones that I use for all these types of lightsabers. They fit the lightsaber blades perfectly, so really great to use. I'm just going to start gluing the pommel one in. And then the one that goes into the emitter. Gotta glue the PVC in and start building the rest of it. Alright, so I need to cut this off a little bit here, about there. Alright, I'm gonna go cut this on the back in a just like that. Perfect, so now to glue this on, center it up there, while that sets, I'm going to glue the spiky bits on here, last thing I have to do is drill out the hole for the button. One last thing, before I get painting, this is actually the last thing before I get painting. This is quite obviously a Sith Saber, but 
we have the crown of LSR on there, which obviously doesn't fit in with the scheme of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just imagining that this is a piece of his crown that the enemy's picked up and just like in the movies when they get the Gondor armor or whatnot, they cut it up and they deface it and I'm thinking of putting a big X through there, which then we'll, we'll do some nice painting around. So I'm going to do this with a Dremel and what I'm going to do is just put a nice big And there we go, you can see the cross through there. I think that's kind of cool. So I added a little bit more depth in the middle there so we can hopefully get some paint in there later and make it look really cool. So now it's time to go paint this. I'm gonna go over with gray primer, then black, then silver and do it in a very light misting. So it looks like more of a gunmetal gray kind of color. So I want this to be really cold and metallic. And then we'll add some extra painting and in the electronics. Let's go ahead and do that. And there we go, so we've got that gunmetal grey colour going and it looks really good. Now it's time to start weathering it, so I'm going to paint it over completely with um, gloss black acrylic and then go back and wipe the majority of it off and then go back with a Tamiya chrome silver for the highlights and that'll show really well. So I'm going to do both of those right now and we'll see what it looks like. So now the next part is to do the leather strap. So I've just cut out my strap there and I'm gonna go from bottom to top so then when you hold it, it overlays it going down. So yeah, that's just the better way to do it. So now I need just super glue, cover the whole handle and then start wrapping it on. So while the pummel dries, I'm just going to add a little bit of red into this cross here. So I need to get some red paint, a really thin brush and we'll chuck it in. Just like that. And time to put the electronics in. So. I usually start out with these 200 lumen LED USB chargeable lights. So these are really great because I've got a switch in it, they've got the lens, it's USB chargeable, it's great, it's got a good battery life. So I use these for these kind of single LED lightsabers, it works really well. So I'm not going to go through it now, but check out my other videos if you want to see. But essentially I break it down into something like this, which then I just have to slot up inside the lightsaber into the right spot. line up the button and then with a pair of tweezers put the switch in sweet there we go that's the pommel in I accidentally got a little bit of a uh, silver spray paint uh, silver to me a paint there but it actually looks kind of cool in those couple spots gives it a bit of weathering but hmm, that's pretty much it that's not bad for a scratch day build with a nice red LED looks perfect. So the way that the spikes line up, they can just sit on the table like that. 
So there we have it guys, that is my mashed together Lord of the Rings Sith lightsaber. So it's got aspects of Gimli's, Anakin's sword, Sauron's, Field and Sauron's, uh, I think that's Aragon's and Saruman's lightsaber. All jammed into one awesome big two-handed lightsaber that absolutely love how that's turned out. So yeah, really happy with that. And of course, it's got to have a red LED. Fits any standard one inch lightsaber blades like all of my lightsabers. Looks really awesome. So, happy with how that's turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more cool stuff like this, like random one day build lightsabers, let me know and I'll keep doing them. So that's it guys. Make sure to subscribe. Um, looking at the statistics, majority of people that watch my videos are not subscribed, so don't be one of them. Subscribe watch one of the uh, videos, share it around, tell your friends and enjoy. Alright, I'll see you on the next one guys.